All right, so now I'm going to talk about uh, the reserve price that you can use for your auctions. Uh, if you don't know what a reserve price is, it's basically the, the lowest price that you're willing to sell your item for. And it's the reserve price is a secret. No one else will know what it is. All the bidders for your auction will not know what your uh, reserve price is. Only you will know what it is. And so why would you use uh, a reserve price for your auction? Well, if you have an item that you want to sell for $100 and you are you don't want to place a starting bid of $100 or $75 just because you're scared that it may turn away some potential bidders, uh, what you can do is uh, place a low starting bid of say $0.99 cents or $2 or $5 or whichever you prefer in the hopes of attracting as many bidders as possible to your auction and and hopefully uh, there may be a, uh, a bidding war on your auction and that you know you may be able to sell it for a higher price than if you just place a starting bid at $100 or $80 okay now at the end of the auction if the highest bid is only ninety dollars or eighty five dollars you will not be obliged to sell your item to the highest bidder because it did not meet the reserve price so what i'm saying is there's no binding contract at the end of the auction if the highest bidder was below the reserve price now of course if the highest price is above the reserve price then you will be obliged to sell it to the highest bidder. So with that said, uh, let's uh, take a look at an, an example right now. Uh, since most cars, most sellers use a reserve price when selling a car, let's take a look at an auction for a car. Okay, so you, this guy's selling an Acura. Current bid is 6400 uh, It says reserve not met. So if this auction ends right now, uh, this guy, this eBay seller, will not have to sell this car to the highest bidder because his reserve was not met.